Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you this very simple and interesting experiment. What I have here is a Gauss cannon and as you can see it consists only of a series of steel balls and here I have a neodymium magnet. The stronger the magnet the better that the experiment will perform. And uh, here I have a couple of tubes. I got them from uh, laser printer cartridges, but you can use any other type of tubing as long as it is non-magnetic. As you can see, it does not attract the magnet. You can use plastic tubes, uh, even wood tubes. The important thing is that they are very smooth so that the balls can run smoothly with uh, low friction. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. Let's see how it works. I'm going to pull this steel ball at the left and let it run. And you can see that the ball at the other end is expelled at higher speed. This works in the following way. You can see that the ball at the right is attracted by the magnet with a very strong force. But the steel ball at the left has very small attraction. This is because it is very far from the magnet and the magnetic field at this position is much smaller than the magnetic field here near the magnet. Therefore, this ball is attracted and gains speed and the momentum of the first steel ball is transferred to the magnet and then to the next steel ball, to the next, to the next, and finally to the ball at the left that has nothing at the at its side, therefore it is expelled at high speed to the left. So this device illustrates the concept of transfer of linear momentum. Each ball at the moment of the collision is compressed and then it returns to its normal size and pushes the other ball and that happens in succession until we arrive to the last steel ball. When I made these demonstrations, one of my students said, oh, that is great, this device amplifies the energy. And I said, how, how is that? Okay, it's very, very simple. Here you have this ball at this position and it is at rest, there is no energy. You just release it and then this ball is expelled at high speed. It has much more energy than the original ball that had zero energy. Of course, that is not true. You cannot create energy out of nothing. But what is the explanation? Okay, let's see. Here we have the magnet. And this magnet has potential energy in the form of a magnetic field that is around the magnet. And this potential energy can be converted to kinetic energy. If we put the ball near the magnet, it will accelerate and 
a work is done because we have a force acting during a distance. So the energy, potential energy of the magnet is converted to kinetic energy. And then we can take another ball and it will also be attracted but with less force than the first one. And then a tear is attracted with even less force and so on. So if we continue, the force is less with each ball that we add until we, we do not have any more energy from the magnet. We have used all the energy in the magnet to convert it to kinetic energy. But then I can make this and now the magnet again has its full energy. We can say that I recharged the magnet at the moment that I made this. I, am, I need to use energy to separate the ball from the magnet. And that energy from my hands is transferred to the magnetic field of the magnet and now it has its full potential energy. And then I use the, the energy of the magnet to move the balls. So that is the concept. The energy is stored in the magnetic field when I made this operation and then I can use that energy to accelerate a ball. So that is the explanation. I use the potential energy of the magnet to fire this ball, but then I need to recharge my weapon by applying energy. Okay, now I have energy again and I can fire again. So that is the experiment of the Gauss cannon, excellent for teaching the concepts of transfer of linear momentum and also of conservation of energy. I hope you liked this video, thanks for your visit and see you in the next one.